Hello, 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 Libras. How are you? Welcome to your reading. Yes, and you good vibe, Prince and this beautiful energy around here. Yes. Happy Passover. Happy Easter. Happy Ramada if you're celebrating that, okay? Sending you good vibes. Happy, happy, happy of anything, all right? Happy, happy, happy is good. Even through the bad, okay? Even the bad is some happiness in there. <laughs> I don't know, my sage just scatter everywhere, but that's okay. All right, let's get into this. How are you guys? Welcome to for Libra Sun Moon Rising. All right, for any cross watchers, if this is your first time coming here, hello, hello. Welcome, you Libras. Uh, welcome those cross watchers too who are either moon or sun or rising you know you have libra in it <laughs> right uh welcome new subscriber those who already been here hello hello collective what's up thank you guys so much for your like comments and subscribes thank you so much for your donations i really appreciate it all the love that you gave me that you sent to this channel i really appreciate it okay um yes yeah, so i've been divinely guided to let you guys know that just as you go in, you know, to your rebirth, to your new age, new things, you know, uh, so is this channel. So is uh, the right, at least from the writing uh, community, okay? So those who read the Rydosia blogs, the astrology reading, um, as of now, I am not, I'm being divinely guided not to write anymore on each of the signs, uh, the astrology anymore, okay? Uh, but I will, they will have these videos, okay? So we're going to do weekly videos here. So those who like your weekly readings, yes. By those who are kind of eh, sad about the writing that you like, you like to read it, um, you're going to have, it's just going to have a, a mini video. I'm going to try to make them short, guys. It's just I'm working on it. Um, but definitely it's going to have, this video is going to be in the blogs, okay? I'm not completely closing the blogs, the weekly blogs, okay? It's still going to have the intuitive messages. It's going to have astrology predictions. It's going to have healing messages. It's going to have, uh, also we're still going to put blogs about environmental, um, assess, um, environmental justice, social justice, climate change, anything related to that, that's not going to change into the system change, okay? Just putting it out there. All right, we're still rebels here. We're conscious creators here. We're not just uh, healing and stuff like that. We're also helping heal the planet and bringing, to, trying to be, bring justice, clarity, and truth to everything, right? Um, other than that, so yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you. Thank you guys so much for also supporting Writer CF, um, the blog and also on the medium as well. Okay. Um, also there's a new podcast, number 35, uh, on your story model podcast, everything you need to know is in the description below. Okay. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting the, your story model podcast. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Love you. Love you. Um, also, Yeah. Everything you need to know is in the description. And other than that, let's get into this reading, right? Let's get into it. So Libra, uh, the crystal that we chose today for you is turquoise. Yes, this might be your favorite color. You might be wearing this a lot. Um, this is all about abundance and prosperity and uh, very good health. And I don't know, I, I love this turquoise because it has these little shiny things. It looks like gold kind of thing. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. So, yeah, turquoise, huh? So, you're in this good energy. Nice. I like it. I like it, Libra. I like it. All right. So, these are messages that I already meditated and prayed with the Holy Spirit and your angels and ancestors. So, these are the messages for that. Again, guys, remember, this is a timeless reading. It's for a collective reading. And also, uh, use take use discernment, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest. If this message is today does not resonate with you, you are more than welcome to save it. But you also are guided. If you feel in your intuition that this doesn't resonate with you, remember, this is also for cross-watchers. Uh, there's other readings for you and the blog that you can see, other Libra uh, messages, or there are other that you can see, okay? You just have to look it up, all right? Or other channel messages or something like that, okay? That's it. All right, let's tap into your energy Libra first, okay? And... Before we do that, let's keep on the high vibe, shall we, Libra? Yes, thank you, Archangel Michael. Spirits of the highest white light, please protect us and we deliver the message for Libra. 
Oh, that feels good, yes. Alrighty, let's see what's going on with you. Guys, make sure you like the, the video so other Libras as yourself are able to find this message as well. It does help the algorithm, okay? It helps the community because we're all here to help each other, find each other. We're all together, united, magician in the mirror. Ooh la la, someone's an intense manifesto here. We got a magician here. Ooh, happy family. Oh, okay. I mean, is this a good attachment? We will see. I don't know. I always see the attachment in this card. Like, I don't know why I see a negative. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know because I feel like any attachment, you shouldn't be attached to things. Everything is free. You should be like letting things free, not being attached. Perhaps some of you are in, in the family attachment mentality. Mm, let's see. Ooh, indecisions. Okay. Oh. Yeah, break the eight. It goes to four, which goes to family. Four is to two. Okay. And then we have the war card in reverse, which is a psycho that hasn't been finished. Or there is. We have door to value. Again, abundance. Money. Ooh, you're an earth angel. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. Men holding the coin. You have strategy in reverse. This is the guarding of the gate, but it's in reverse. Storm. Oof. Hmm. Interesting energy, Libra. Okay, so so far what I'm seeing is that you're definitely a manifesto. You are manifesting a happy family, stability, happiness. When I feel like you already are in this energy, or if you're not, you're going into it, okay? But I feel like there's um there's an attachment here. There's something that you're attached to. Perhaps is the it's a negative belief, a mentality belief about um, if this is the right person, if this is the right thing to do, if this is like this is what I'm feeling like. I feel like you have this attachment to uh, overthinking, negative thinking, mm -hmm. believing like worse is yet to come. You know. Um, Literally, it's something like you cannot believe that good things happen to you. And I feel like this is something that, you know, you're not used to. You're not used to having a happy, having this inner peace, this inner happiness, things working out for you, right? But I feel like with the work, there's something that you're learning that it is an attachment. And I feel like this is a curse. This is a family curse, Okay. I feel like somebody cursed you and your family in the past. Something to do with your family. Someone is very, yeah, but I feel like you're the generational breaker. There's something that you're doing right now in this lifetime that is breaking this curse, okay? Which is why with the world and the card in reverse, it's, some, it's a cycle that it's just, it's either finished or it needs to finish, okay? And it's attached to you, to your family. Uh, yeah, it's something to attach with your... Something that you manifest or something like that. Like, I feel like there's something here that... But it's a mind control. It's like a mind thing. And I think, like, perhaps it's you overthinking this. Like, you know that you have this and you're overthinking. I feel like if you have a happy family, you're going to be thinking about this. And this is why, actually, it, like, it manifests, you know? Let that go. Be happy. It's okay to be happy. Yes, you do have this attachment or somebody's... Uh, that to others of you, you're getting this attachment from somebody. Somebody's trying to create indecisions in your life. Somebody's trying to do uh, jeopardize your family or whatever happiness or whatever, whatever makes you happy. There's someone here trying to do that. The work card here is like... It's like, yeah, it's not working. It's not going to work, okay? 
it's not gonna work for these whoever is doing this and also this curse you're breaking it i feel like it's broken already And if it hasn't, I feel like there's something that you need to do to cut the cord. There's a cord cutting. You need to do a cut cutting ritual, okay? Absolutely. Because this is a uh, mind. Yeah, I feel like this is past life, though. See how these people are like in the past, like how they used to dress and stuff. Like, I don't know. It's a past life. This is a past karmic uh, generational curse. You gotta break this. Yeah, you see, when you break the eight, it goes to four, right? Divided by two is four. So it goes back to family. It's something to do with your family. It's a past life, family, generational thing, right? Here, you have five and three. Break it down. Yeah, this is, yeah. It's something, you see, this person feels bound. You see, she has like a chain here. And she's like looking at the path. Like, I'm telling you. This is something that you gotta break. There's a bond here. You gotta break this. I'm not sure if you actually did because you do have, yeah. I see here a door to value and then you have angel of love and then you have broken heart. I feel like you are an earth angel. Somebody who deserves abundance, who deserves to have this love, to deserve to have this family. And I feel like there's something, it's a, it probably is a financial curse. Why can I pick this up? Yeah, it's a financial curse. It's something to do with, like, if you're happy with someone, like, yeah, somebody cursed you guys a long time ago. Damn. Somebody very uh, envious and jealous, okay? Or you could be dealing with this person right now in this lifetime. But whatever they're strategizing, whatever they're trying to block, it's not working, okay? You're protected. I feel like there's also somebody paying somebody, this man holding the coin, to do this on you. Yeah, but I feel like broken heart is like you're healed. Because the fact that you're healed, you're broken heart. It's like, that's what the abundance is coming to. It's like, that's what you're manifesting amazingly. Like things that you're just working out for you because you learn how to heal yourself. But we're going to tap more into tarot. But definitely we should keep this in mind. The envy and the storm warming. I feel like the uh, your ancestors are trying to warn you about this. There's somebody around you that is not who you think they are. Okay. And it has to deal with this curse. It has to deal with this. I feel like somebody has to break your heart. To, yeah, it's something to do with family, breaking the heart or something. And I feel like it's repeating again this lifetime. All right, we're going to tap into Tara and get to the bottom of this. Dun, dun, dun. Don't worry, Libra. We're going to get to the bottom of this. If you're already involved with somebody, we're going to get to the bottom. If you're not, if you're going to get involved with someone, we're going to get to the bottom of that, okay? Let's look into the angel numbers. You see these angels? This is your, the, your angels are letting you know that you're going on the right path or there's something you need to look into more deeper, okay? But there's nothing to worry about, all right? No worries. Do not worry. Ooh, there you go. You got five. Five, what was the Five was the attachment, right? Oh, my God. What the heck is going on? Change. There's change. Definitely a change. I feel like you did broke this curse, though. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm curious to know now. I really wanna know. All right. Five five. Oh, sorry. Wait. I might just do the bottom of the deck. Nice. That's good. That's good. All right. Five five. Master number. Okay. Substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change. I need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. Absolutely. I'm evolving. Okay. You're evolving. Sixteen. If you see this number. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truth. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings, a wisdom seeker, and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I am perspective, okay? Some of you Libras could be empath, okay? I'm, I'm heavily feeling this, okay? Yeah. 
So let's tap into tarot. Let's see what angels and sisters want to let you know about this rebirth. This, oh yeah, balance, right? Balance and communication. Balance and communication. Okay, this is your life path for real. Balance and communication. I'm hearing definitely. You're a very balanced. I feel like you are. And you're really good communicator. You're you really express yourself well. You're oh sorry about that commercial. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. There's a something that is going to be revealed to you, perhaps right now, perhaps recently, perhaps soon. There's a secret, okay? There's something, a secret or something that is going to be um, spoken to you, okay? Again, this keeps popping up. Some truth, okay? Someone watching you. Someone is kind of communicate something to you person about someone's plan i feel like at first you're not going to believe it though but you got to use your intuition in this one okay yeah all right spirit please send us an assessor let us know what libra needs to do right now in this rebirth let us know what we saw in the energy what's going on mm-hmm we have King of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Devil. But as somebody, I feel like with the Devil in reverse, as somebody that it feels healed, though. It feels like they broke the shackles, they broke the bounds, they broke the curse. There you go. I see your confirmation for some of you. There's a curse broken here. Yeah, this is why you have financial abundance. This is why you're literally someone very stable, okay? There was a curse in your finances. You see the Pentacles? And it could have been your father, a father figure, or something like that. Someone in the past, okay? Thank you, Spirit. That was nice. That was very nice. I appreciate you. So for you guys, if you were nervous or something like that, you broke the curse, okay? Yeah. And it's a, it was a family thing. It's something within your family. It's something that they do. It's something that... It could be something that, like, may have, perhaps they're into witchcraft or something like that, and you weren't really aware of that, and maybe that's why you have to walk away from these people or something like that. But definitely there's a broken of family here. Maybe that's why we saw the happy family in your chart and your energy. It's like it's something that you want. You seek that. You want to, You know that you have to heal that. You know that, that, and that's exactly what you're doing, So, which is such a beautiful energy, okay? So give yourself props in that in the back or whatever you want to give it okay literally let me know in the comments put a little uh, cheers uh you know a little beer or uh champagne okay because this takes so much work this is not easy healing the father wound oof mamma mia and then not only that uh the letting go of the illusion the the constant limited beliefs the programming all the shit you let it go you're not longer blind by this situation by this family dynamic this toxic uh behavior this uh family uh, could be these people could be fake like they could be like portraying something that they're not you know uh maybe like these people could be like, oh, very materialistic and egocentric, like showing to the world that they're happy, that they're, that, you know, that they have a happy family with, you know, a bunch of buying a bunch of expensive stuff, like all materialistic stuff shit. But at the end of the day, it's not, it wasn't healthy. It's not healthy at all. And you knew this. This is why the Hermit card is here. You're healing. This is so beautiful. You're going in, you're going tapping and you say, you know what? This is not what I want. I don't want to have a fake ass family. I want to have a healthy, conscious family. I want to have a partner that actually is there for the long haul. It's actually not a cheater. Somebody who, you actually manifested this. You wanted this emperor. You wanted somebody that is stable, right? That is not codependent, right? That they're independent. They're not here to break your freaking heart. They actually communicate and listen to their intuition. Holy moly. Look at you, Libra. Amazing. I'm so proud of you. 
<laughs> this is it. Because you healed your heart, because you broke this generational curse, because you decided that you don't want to be like this toxic family, because you know that you, you don't want to stay in a relationship, even if you're the person is a cheater. The person, like, you know, you, you probably have family that accepted all that shit. They forgive, like, cheaters and, and backstabbers and betrayers and stuff like that. Like, they forgive them, but also take them back and weigh them back in the same energy. So, basically, this other person who was doing that stuff, they didn't learn the lesson. They, that's what they kept doing it and over and over again because there was no consequences for their behavior. That's really it. And you were done with that. You're tired of that. You're like, no, I know there's better out there. I know that this illusion, that this toxic mentality, this this belief, perhaps some of you could be, a, I don't know, I'm seeing someone of color, like someone, a person of color. I don't know why. It doesn't have to be, but I'm seeing someone like, 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 you know, a lot of people of color, and I'm not trying to, you know, say anything, but a lot of people of color tend to do that. Like, they tend to go back to very toxic, negative situation. Like, it could be abusive, too. Uh, very mentally manipulative and toxic, you know, and, and then make it normal. Like, it's okay, you know, abuse and oppression and stuff like that. Like, no, some of you decided to break this curse. You're like, no, you know what? Some of you could be like your family wants you to date only people of color, let's say. They want you only to date uh, black people, let's say. Or they only want you to date indigenous people. Or they only want you, you know what I'm saying? And you're just like, well, why? 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 Why is it that does to you? How does that serve you? Some of you are tired of that. You're like, no, I want to date whoever I want to date. I want to date whoever. It doesn't matter the color, whatever. It doesn't matter. I feel like some of you are, could be dating, if you're someone of color, you could be dating someone who is, yeah, who is white. Somebody of lighter skin. And you don't care because this person actually is somebody who is not toxic, not codependent. There's no jealousy here. It's very good energy. You hit the jackpot. I'm just, yeah, some of you hit the jackpot here. All those of you... Uh, you could have uh, somebody who your yeah, family is, uh, you know, um, Caucasian, right? And they don't want you to date someone of color, okay? And you're just wondering why, 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 why? And now you're like, you know what? I want to date someone of color. I actually, no, I don't want to follow this family tradition, blah, 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 crap. And that too, you actually found someone who is different who is of color who's someone who's healed someone who communicates who uses their intuition who has that uh life energy i feel like this is somebody who might be younger than you some of you might be younger some of you might be older who kisses a shit you're happy you're in love with this person yeah you're no longer waiting for nobody yeah this is the three of wands it's like you're you're done waiting like you're you found whoever it is that you want to you found and you want to be happy and that's beautiful, Libra, okay? So, I don't know if I should go any deeper, but I feel so good for you. And, like, congratulations, whoever. Yeah, you close the cycle. Woo! Go, Libra. Yes. You did it. Girl or boy or whoever you are. Nice. Nice. The world car is completion. The cycle is done. It's over. You did this. And you did it by yourself. Good for you. That's why I saw the tempers. Look at the tempers. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tell the spirit. Tell it. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Libra. Good for you. This is such a healing energy. You're a star, by the way, and an earth angel. Beautiful. Oh, I love seeing this. Oh my god. Can we have this more? <laughs> Oh, that's so beautiful. Guys, make sure you like the, the video so other people can find this message. Also, this is very healing. I feel like other reader, other signs should see this just for for educational purposes. This is what happens when you break the freaking cycle. When you let go of toxic, negative, family limited belief. You just like, you are happier. You know what I'm saying? You let go of codependency. You're not attached to this motherfucker. You become who you're meant to be. You're aligned with the person you're meant to be. There's communication. There's healing energy. There's no broken heart here. There's no uh, sugar coating. There's no BS. You know, there's maturity. There's loyalty. Wow. There's balance. And there's still healing. You, I feel like you both are healing each other. Damn. I see a lot of good sex here. Woo! 
Oh, oh yeah, boo. There's a lot of good sex here. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. <laughs> I feel like you both heal each other. Yes, thank you, spirit. Look at that. There's a transformation here. There's something that needed to end in order for something to begin. There's this new beginning. But yeah, you do have someone stuck on you. Of course. After the positive, we got the negative. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, someone you block, though. You block this person. Yeah, they're doing magic on you. <laughs> yeah, they're doing magic on your relationship. So you don't have this new beginning. Or whatever it is that you have right now. Ah, oh, fuck these people. Excuse my language, but seriously. Yeah, they're collaborating. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Oh my god. Yeah, they're trying to send you something. These, there's like three or four. I'm seeing three to four people. Yeah, these people are too much. Yeah, be careful who you tell your business. Be careful who you tell your happiness, who make you happy. Be careful who you tell your new relationship. Like really, what people don't know can't ruin. And now if you're posting your new relationship, you're telling people. Yeah, I mean, man, I mean, you can't act out of fear all the time. Like, man, you... Ugh. Yeah, but someone's doing that. Someone's watching you. Someone that you block. Someone that you're... Yeah, they're holding back or something. Like, they're stuck being stingy or something. Some of you are holding back from, from whoever this person is. But yeah, someone definitely is doing magic on you. Yeah, I see the injustice here. Yeah, it's your love life. So, oh, there it is. <laughs> Every bird. Do you see that? I didn't do anything. It just flying to whoop. <laughs> I didn't do that, okay? This is spirit. Tell the spirit. It went back. Any love spell, sex, magic, or anything that they were trying to do, it went back. Also, whoever is trying to communicate with you, they're trying to slide into your energy, pretend that they're good people or whatever, or they're not doing this uh, magic stuff behind your back, it's a lie. There it is. It's not lying. Yeah, it's something to do with your health. They're trying to jeopardize your health. Yeah, or is this person is sick. Someone's sick here. Yeah. Yeah. So we're saying keep working on yourself. Keep healing yourself. Keep being that star and that beautiful balance that you're meant to be. And walk away from what no longer serves you, okay? And you that you did. The eight of cups is literally you, you, you're just walking away. You're walking away from not, from anything that don't no longer serves you. And that's a good energy, okay? Keep it that way. Yeah. You're in the ten of pentacles. Ten of cups. Woo! Yes, boo. Yes, Libra. Yeah, these people want to apologize, but look what they look at. Look at what this apology brings: conflict, competition, chaos, drama. I don't know. Now, with these people see you happy, they want to come in now. But you're in the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my God, your boss. Look at you. Look at you. You're not taking this apology. You you are your wish fulfillment. Even if you're with somebody, or you're not with somebody. You're happy. Yeah, you're balanced. You're about the truth. This is you, Libra, Queen of Source. Oh, yeah. Also, Queen Queen. Not necessarily have to be a female, but I feel like your feminine energy is uh, balanced. And you see the King of Cups is trying to come out. So this is your, your both. Your yin and yang are balanced here. You're emotionally stable. You're balanced. You're very generous. You're loyal. Oh, look at you. King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles here. The King King of Pentacles here. Oh, my God. You guys. You found your match. Oh, this is so beautiful. You found your match. Whoever this is. Whoever you're with. Oh, my God. That's your person. Mm -hmm. And if you're not with this person yet, oh, my God. It's going to happen, okay? Someone balanced, someone loyal, someone very, very, like, really passionate for you. They, they they, they, have a lot of passion for you. Like, they love you. I'm hearing it. Like, oh, my God. And the sex? Oh, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Someone very intuitive. A hard worker. Yeah. Look how beautiful when you break a curse. Oh, my God. Please teach us how. <laughs> Oh my God, Libra, let me know if this resonates with you, but what a great energy right here. Yeah, you're very creative. You're very passionate. You're very beautiful. Wow. And I feel like this person is not going to stop you. Whatever you're doing, I feel like this person supports you. They want to they wanna see you grow. They want to see you, yeah. Yeah, you guys letting go of this burden or someone bringing you burdens. Yeah, someone's trying to though. What the fuck? 
These people, they should focus on themselves. Look at this. This is the truth. Look at what they're doing. But that's like they have new beginning. They have nothing. Like they have nothing to do with their life. They're just trying to create burdens on you, trying to create illusions and chaos and stuff like that. And then they go and they like because they feel rejected because you're rejecting them. So they're like wishful thinking, like wanting to be with you, trying to get back into your energy or something like that. So they send juju or whatever is the truth. They are doing this daily. See, betraying, backstabbing you. Why? Because they don't have a life. They're pathetic, okay? Focus on your energy. Keep protecting your energy. Keep loving. Keep being happy. These people are just pathetic, okay? Pathetic people always do this. Unhappy, miserable. I feel like these are your vessels and demonic spirits sent by you know who. You know who. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're meant to be happy. Like, this is, this is not fair. But whatever, you know? Like, let people do what they do. Look at this. Two of Cups. Yeah, you made your decision. Yeah. Whoever you choose to be your soulmate, that you already made your decision. Okay. Two, two, two. Here, the universe literally co created this union. Okay. Someone is going to be very upset, very unhappy, actually grieving. Like, oh my God, super sad that you're fucking happy. What the hell? Let them. Like, what the heck is this? These people should make, like, no, they should focus on their own life. This is pathetic. Go be happy. This is beautiful energy. Stick in this energy. Follow your intuition, okay? That took you a lot to break a cycle, to literally find this person. I feel like you were celibate for a very long time. I feel like you saved yourself. You working on yourself. You were working very hard to have this, okay? Literally, and God gave it to you. Literally, this is a blessing. No way. No way. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. This person deserves to be happy. That's it. That's the energy. And I'm going to leave you right there. Let's tap into your messages. But be happy, okay? This is beautiful. It's a beautiful partnership soulmate. This is your high-level soulmate. This person is meant to be with you. This person. And they're not codependent, okay? They're not attached. They're not addicted to things. They're loyal. They're... I'm telling you, this is your person. If anybody try to distort that image from, from you and stuff like that to make you think otherwise, these person are like, they're sick in the head, okay? And keep that communication, okay? That's the only thing that really can save you too. Have that communication. Always clear communication. Always, okay? That too. Talk about your, your heartbreaks and stuff like that. Let them know what, you know, what your wounds are so that way they can understand you better. And then that person is able to communicate and be vulnerable with you. Keep communication. I'm telling you, if you lose communication with your person and you start assuming and, and putting stuff in your head that is not there, that's how the devil will come in. Okay. And that's why this is going to work. Okay. Don't let it. I'm telling you. This is beautiful. You broke a cycle. You were meant to do this this lifetime. You're meant to be with this person, okay? All right, let's get into your message, Libra. What a great energy. See? Oh, let go worry. Yes. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. I love this. I love this. I love this. Oh, my God. I love the synchronicities here. Ah! Oh my God, this is amazing. Libra, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Okay, first of all, you are going through a transformation, okay? Absolutely, especially like the cycle that you broke and uh, the changes that you're making for yourself or you literally your entire family, your ancestors too, because those who are not here in this, like they're probably so, they're having a party right now, okay, for you. Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing, okay? So make sure that you're resting. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself. But I feel like this transformation is also happening for your person. I don't know why I'm seeing that, but I see you guys. If you're not together with this person yet, you're going to be. And it's going to be amazing, okay? Your sex life is going to be so good. <laughs> I don't know if you're a healer, if you're somebody worse in the health department or something like that. But I see you guys like, woo. It's like you guys are going to heal each other, okay? And I feel like this person, once you unite with this person, it's like this is also another way that the curse will be broken. It's because in your family, that something wasn't, uh, you know, that nobody broke that. Nobody uh, changed their path, you know what I'm saying? But you did. 
or you will with this person okay and that's what i'm saying like the deep healing is you guys like you know together healing each other working each other uh healing your broken hearts uh you know healing your root chakra um you know going to doing yoni seams together uh, moon bath together i see that it's so amazing ah i love it i love it libra good for you i'm so happy worry let go worry stop worrying let it go push is out okay i'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome okay let it go you have nothing to worry about let me tell you why look at that you're highly protected in your person you both are star seeds chosen ones for sure yeah star ancestors follow the voice of your soul okay follow that voice it will never lead you straight okay you definitely have a connection with the egyptians as well uh you have royal um wow royal blood yeah you you're ancient you're someone ancient and you're a person too i feel like this is not your first rodeo <laughs> perhaps that was that karmic lesson that needed to happen maybe perhaps that person also had their own karmic lessons but i feel like you both broke a cycle here and that's why you're united you're together Woo! yeah step out of your comfort zone and that's it you listen to the voice of your, of, of your soul okay step out of your comfort zone it's okay to step out it's okay to be different it's okay to to date someone different it's okay because that's what you're meant to be doing okay surrender to your soul path again we have a lot of path here voice of the soul soul of your path get out of your comfort zone go into your transformation yo surrender okay you and your person just surrender let the divine get let the let the divine do his thing okay you guys just work on yourself keep doing what you're doing heal yourselves you know be happy okay stop worrying seriously your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth Holy spirit embrace every lesson and every moment okay even the bad ones that is a learning lesson there too okay the universe when i lean towards love i am led look at that when I lean towards love, I am led, okay? Just focus on the love, you know? Don't don't listen to other people. Like, people are miserable and they're sad and they don't have not, no life, you know what I'm saying? Like, ugh. People who don't support you in this, like, you know what to do, okay? Everyone should be happy for you. Everyone should be celebrating you. Everyone should be celebrating this, uh, this uh, connection, you know what I'm saying? Like, hmm. And if you're getting married, please invite me to the wedding. I'm just saying, just putting it out there because maybe I help it out. No, no, no. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to know if this is actually your reading. I'm, I'm really curious. I wanna, I wanna praise you and celebrate your relationship because this is actually really awesome. Okay. Allow the light of the universe to shine through you. Okay. Trust in your inner knowingness and guidance. Spirit always loves and supports you. Okay. Remember that. Open yourself to the intelligence, purity, and grace of consciousness, and, and it resonate in all of its possibilities. We are, yes, we are connected, man. All right, all right. This feels so good. All right, Spirit. What is this soul journey? The Wisdom Oracle for Libra today. This one keeps on. <laughs> this can't put me off. No. no, they want me to flip it again. Oh, flip it. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Okay. They want me to do this. All right, spirit. What is it? Time to go. Oof. I feel like it is time to go to where? Oh, I'm curious. Oh, God. Okay, 45. Time to go. I feel like you guys are going to go somewhere. Or like spirits letting you guys know that you guys have to be somewhere else. So maybe you're surrounded to too many karmics. So many people want to break you up. Yeah, for sure. Because look at this. She's like just walking away from like, you know, she's just like, okay, I'm going to follow my path. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at that. Look at that. Perhaps it's that path with your person or something. You know, let's see. 45. 45. 45 could be significant for someone. Maybe you're 45. I don't know. All right, 45, essential meanings, endings, completion, walking away from something because there's nothing else to learn or experience. Bam. The Oracle's message. 
You are at the end of one of one journey and have not yet begun the next. This is the moment to bless your experience this far. Yes. Take a stock of what you've learned. It's time to move on to a new experience. Yeah, you see, she's going there. She or he or whatever, whoever you are, you're going there. Ah. To new experiences and a new way of being. There's nothing less for you to do. Be or experience in your present circumstances. Take the risk and move on even if you need to be in, a, in transition for a time. Your destiny is calling you. Absolutely. Relationship message. It's over, or at the very least, the form the form this relationship has taken is no longer of service to you or the other person, as for some of you. This is a time of letting go, of knowing that the journey has come to its conclusion. That doesn't mean anything is lost, although this card could speak to a breakup, drifting apart, or the end of a soul contract. Did we just say that? You just broke a soul contract? Yeah, that's what it is. It is more about release than destruction. Remember the saying, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. If it's not, if not, it never was. Okay? Endings are always a sign of new beginnings. If you want something deeper, walk away. Oof. Oh la la. Prosperity message. This message is clear. The path you're being on with your work, creative projects, and business alliances have, have come to an end. You will not find the success you desire by continuing with what is now in front of you. This is an auspi aus aus auspicious sign because there is no choice that will benefit you other than risking stepping into the unknown. It is time to walk towards something new. This card also pertains to the more neutral concept of completion. You have finished your task and can rest assured that this ending will open up a powerful new avenue of opportunity, even better than any you can imagine. You have done all you can. Now trust that spirit keeps the plan moving forward. Fortune requires you to conclude this chapter of your life. And remember that when you close one door, another one opens. Yes. Protection message. Even if it appears that you've reached the end of the line and all is lost, it isn't. You're in a situation that will resurface again later. Mm. So consider this a break rather than an ending. Destiny is in charge here. You lose nothing and gain everything when you surrender to, the, to that fact. Your soul knows that your destiny is unfolding with perfect timing and synchronicity. Your small self has doubts, but that is natural as it doesn't have the map of your destiny. The soul does. Spirit loves you. Trust that. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Libra. Ah. I'm just, I'm just really, I'm just enjoying this moment for you. And I hope that you know that you deserve better and whoever, and we just, I just show you that whatever that is, whatever you're shedding, that it's time to go, to let it go because there's something beautiful that is coming. Okay. If it's not already here. All right. I'm sending you so much love. Thank you so much, guys, for your like, comments, and subscribes, and I'll see you next video. Peace, love, and light. Bye.